Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am here with a new video for you. I will be doing the Escada Summer Limited Edition range. I'll be talking about the ones I own in my collection and about the ones that I've owned um, previously. So I really hope you enjoy this video. So in my hands, I have Born in Paradise. I have spoken about this in another video. Uh, my coconut scents so please go and check that out this one is watermelon guava green apple coconut milk it's got pineapple musk cedarwood and sandalwood sorry and cedarwood you can detect the pineapple guava and a touch of coconut um as i did mention in my in my other video this one doesn't perform as well it's not actually overly sweet and i think it's because of the top notes it's got watermelon guava and green apple they don't tend to be very very sweet to note so it's the one that is one of the least sweetest in the collection but i wouldn't be surprised if people found it too sweet but it's a nice fragrance i probably do have to layer it with something to you know get the vibe that i'm looking for this one is one of my favourites. This is Escada's. This is so Soberto Rosso. This one is Watermelon and Pear, I believe. Um, this one is quite a... Oh, sorry. Yeah, you really, really honestly detect the watermelon. Um, I do want to try and layer it with Dolce & Gabbana, the three... I never know how to pronounce it, but I'm sure you're very familiar of that bottle. It's got the pink juice, usually comes in 100 ml. It's got watermelon, rhubarb, and I think kiwi in it. Um, this has strawberry, apple, tangerine. Apparently, I've just discovered now it's got praline in it. I haven't detected any praline. I mainly detect a watery watermelon vibe. This is so nice. It's not really in your face. It's quite subtle and it's not overly sweet. So do check it out. Oh, it's so nice. Um, this one I've spoken about already. This is mango. This is Taj Sunset. It's mango. It's got coconut. It is fruity. It's not, again, overly sweet. We are coming up to the overly sweet ones. Um... This one has nectarine, it's got raspberry, musk, sandalwood, water lily, blood orange, amongst other ingredients. But I mainly detect the mango in this one. Didn't know it had raspberry, but there you go. Turquoise Summer. This is actually my favourite one. And <laughs> it's very sweet. This one has gotten me compliments. This one is very sweet, guys. Um, This one is... Sorry, I'm just checking out the notes. I remember it's got red berries. Okay, yeah, so it's got fruits, strawberry, pineapple, raspberry, black currant. It's got a touch of rhubarb, orange, lemon. This is supposed to have caramel, vanilla. Maybe that's why it's so sweet. For me, I did mainly detect fruits. It smells like a nice, beautiful, sweet fruit ball. Um... You can see I've made a dent. These are, you know, <clears throat> have been my summer fragrances for a couple of years, bar one, I think. Um, so yeah, compliment getter. It is sweet. It can be a bit juvenile. I am open to admit that that is turquoise summer. Let's try this one. This one's a little bit different. This one <clears throat> grew. <clears throat> this one grew on me. Um, let me find the notes. Where have you gone? This is Sexy Graffiti. Came out in 2011. I think this is the red fruits one. <laughs> Strawberry, raspberry, grapefruit, mint. Ooh, strip. Never thought it would have that. Peony, lily of the valley, lily of the valley, violet, vanilla, cashmere wood, and musk. It might be. I detect raspberry. Maybe I'm, guys, I think I'm actually smelling the mint in this. It was something very different about this one. <clears throat> this one is the more 
interesting one, I think, um, compared to the rest. This one reminds me of, and I used to own, own it, and I cannot for the life of me pronounce, Salvat, is it Salvato Ferragami? I do apologise, I've really butchered that one. And it's either the, sh he has Dream, Shine. <laughs> Guys, I'm really bad. I actually wonder if somebody has mentioned it on Escada, let's... And Ascada, you know, Fragrantica. Oh. See, it's one of those summer fragrances. One of these summer ones. It's either Dream or Shine. I think it came in like a yellow, orangey bottle or the blue and pink one. Um, I'll find, I will, I'll just put it in the description bar. But yeah, this is the more interesting one. It's not overly sweet, surprisingly. The fact that it has the raspberry and strawberry. I think it's the mint, guys. I think, you know, when something goes ding in your head, I think it's the mint. That gives it a little bit more of an edge, but it's a lovely uh, fragrance, quite interesting. This one, you can see I really used that. I think this came out maybe 2019 or so. I think it's quite recent. So I remember when it came out again, I was, you know, in a rush to get it. Guys, you can see I've made a dent in it. This is a compliment getter. This is pineapple and i think plum let's check it out this does have a bubblegum with a bubblegum type vibe if i remember oh it's so sweet in fact i'm getting memories and i'm not sure what the memories are of oh no there's no plum in this one it's watermelon blueberry orange cherry flower jasmine tuberose tuber okay maybe that's why i'm getting a bubblegum vibe Pineapple and Broxin, musk and sandalwood. Most of them have musk and sandalwood balm. I think this one. This is Miami Blossom. Sorry, guys. It's very, guys, it's very sweet. I can actually, yeah, watermelon, pineapple, and I think the blueberry. It did give me this bubblegum vibe, and I know two bros in some sense can give off a bubblegum type vibe. So yeah, um, other ones I used to own, Rockin' Rio, I think that came in 20, oh, 2011. I really tried, I went back and forth with that one. It just wasn't for me. I think it's the papaya in it that put me off. Iceland Kiss, I also tried that one. I think that one was, was very green. It was quite green for me, not a favourite. Um, another two that I said goodbye to and quite quickly was Agua Del Sol just wasn't really feeling it um fiesta choreo i thought i would love that one but again was it for me i think they had this greeny type vibe i couldn't really detect what i was smelling maybe it wasn't sweet enough for me um i do have a rollerball of cherry in the air for me personally i don't feel it smells that cherry guys and i know quite a few people have said that so i'm like oh, okay i'm not on my own i don't think if you're looking for a cherry scent, don't you might be a bit disappointed when you purchase um cherry in the air. For me, didn't I didn't get much cherry. In fact, it smelled like it's either this one, born in paradise, or Taj Sun Taj Sunset. It wasn't unique enough for me, so I don't think I'll be looking for a full bottle of that one. Um, so yeah, guys, that was it for my Escada range. Um, and I just wanted to add a few, I wanted to do like a my perfume collection type thing, but I think I'm just going to do series, um, of different ranges. So I'll just show you three random scents that I have in my perfume collection for the summer. This is JLo Wild Glow. This one reminds me of Viva La Juicy Soiree, Viva La Juicy Noir. Um, I preferred this one to Rockin', no, Rio Glow. I thought Rio Glow was going to be the balm, but that one had the green note in it, which was not for me. This is a tropical scent. Actually, all of these are quite um, tropical fragrances. Um, this is Tropical Fruits Black Currant. It's got vanilla, sandalwood musk. Again, not the most long-lasting fragrance, but you can see I've made quite a dent on it. I actually wore this during summer and COVID. It's nice for what it is. It's a celebrity scent. Uh, 
an EDT. But yeah, so it's an, uh, maybe a cheaper alternative, maybe, to for Skada. It's on the same vibe. You might want to check it out. Uh, another random one is this one. This is Sunset Fantasy by Britney Spears. <laughs> Guys, I went through, you know, I think last year or the year before, I had a lot of Britney Spears. I had a lot of J-Lo, but I decluttered most of them this year during COVID. So I feel quite happy and pleased with myself. This is Mandarin, Apple, Grapefruit, Peach, Raspberry, Orange. It's got Milk, Mousse, Vanilla, Amber and Sandalwood. It's different from the Midnight Fantasy and the other fantasies. It's a nice, sweet... It's more musky, though. Com if i'm comparing it to the escada scents and i because of the vanilla as well you do get a bit of creaminess guys you can see i've used it i'm done with it so yeah um this one another random one body shop this is japanese cherry blossom strawberry kiss i love this scent guys um i think it was a youtuber who had this but not a she wasn't i don't think she was reviewing perfume i think she was like a beauty vlogger um she had this one and was like oh let me try it out so nice guys guys I w it's an edt i wish it was like an edp i wish it performed better it's so lovely it brings back memories to when i first started you know my perfume collection um and i think it was summer i think i started my perfume collection so it does bring back memories of when i was trying all these different fragrances oh memories and then the other random one <laughs> which will has featured in my um other video sorry um it was the hollister one wave two california wave two another summer cheapy fragrance alternatives brings back memories of when i first started all right guys that's all from me i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in a another video thank you so much for watching bye